Hi, for this video, what I want to do is just talk to you about linear and angular speed formulas. I'm not going to do any examples with this in this particular video, but I will have other videos that do show you examples of using the formula. Um, a lot of times in trigonometry, we want to know how fast a point on a circular object is rotating or turning, or we also want to know how fast the central angle is spinning. Um, so these formulas are used for that purpose. So the first formula that I want to discuss with you is the linear speed. The linear speed were if you were taking a specific point on a circle. So let's say that we have a circle here and we have any point on the circle. So the linear speed is just how fast that point is turning and if I were to set it up in a linear fashion. Okay. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to let v equal the linear speed. So v is the, form, the letter that we use for the linear speed. s is going to be the arc length. So if I were trying to figure out how far from here to let's say here, this would be my arc length divided by the time it took the, to get there. That would tell me my linear speed of that point. And this prime right here is just saying that I started at p and p prime was my ending point. Another thing that we deal with is the angular speed, and this is basically telling you how fast the central angle is changing over time. So the central angle would be like if I started here and how much it's changing over time, how much is it rotating here in the center. And so for this one, we use omega to represent the variable for the angular speed. Um, theta is going to be the measure of the central angle in radians. It does have to be in radians, so make sure that you pay attention to that. And T is again our time, so the angular speed is equal to the central angle divided by the time. Okay, um, we can write this in terms of each other, so remember that S is this, um, the length of the arc. So S represents the arc length, and we can find the arc length as R times the central angle. So we could rewrite the linear speed formula as V equals R times theta divided by T, where R times theta is just S. And so it's just another form of writing the arc length. That's actually how we find it. So if you're given the radius and the central angle measure, you could still find the linear speed of a specific point on that circle. Okay. Um, or if you wanted to, if you look right here, the theta divided by t is in this formula. So we could also say that v is equal to r times the angular speed. Um, remember that omega is what we use to represent the angular speed. So these are some formulas that are used a lot in trigonometry. Hopefully this kind of helps you to see where the variables came from and what you're going to use. And I will do examples that show you how to find these at a later time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing.